Hey guys, welcome back to the Top 10 Nerd. I'm Ron McKenzie LaFergie. Loki is the man, whether he's tearing it up in the comics or messing everything up in the Marvel films. He's been a constant and powerful enemy to Thor and the Avengers. But there are some things that not everybody knows about the God of Mischief. So get ready, because here are the Top 10 Surprising Facts about Loki. Number 10, Loki shot first. Okay, I'm mixing fandoms up a bit, but fun fact, Loki appeared in the Marvel comics 13 years before his brother Thor. First introduced in Timely Comics Venus number 6 in August of 1949, before Timely even became Marvel. Here he was one of the Olympian gods who had been exiled to the underworld and looked kind of like how we would picture the devil. While he was later reintroduced in 1962 as Thor's enemy, it's interesting that Loki beat Thor to the comics by over a decade. Number 9, Loki is quite the creator god. God. While for the most part the gods we see in comics tend to be more intent on destruction or control or protection of the innocent, Loki seems to enjoy creating other things, generally destructive things. He brought about the creation of Wrecker and Absorbing Man, as well as the fusion of three sentinels of Project Nimrod into one powerful weapon. Although I swear that his creations are just to give him an excuse to say, I brought you into this world and I can take you back out. Number 8. Jane Foster was crushing on Loki when he was first introduced as Thor's enemy. When he arrived to challenge Thor to a duel, Jane seems to take a liking to him, complimenting his name and actually calling him dashing and romantic. How she could tear her eyes away from Thor is beyond me, but I suppose everyone has their own tastes. And she did get over Loki pretty quickly when she found out that he was, you know, kind of a jerk. Number 7. This may not be a surprise to comic book fans, and definitely won't be one to lovers of Norse mythology, but Loki was a woman for a time. After transferring the spirit of Lady Sif into another woman, he took control of her body and used it to manipulate Thor. He's changed into a woman a few times since, and this was ridiculously common in Norse mythology, with a bunch of gods turning into the opposite sex from time to time. But it wasn't quite so common in comics, and it's pretty weird. Number 6. Loki is pansexual. With the LGBT community being so underrepresented in comics, where else would you look but the gender bending god of mischief? And you would not be disappointed. Loki has regularly referred to the fact that he is in fact pansexual, and Loki author Al Lewing has even come out to say, quote, Yes, Loki is bi, and I'll be touching upon that. He'll shift between genders occasionally as well. And I'd love to see this taken up in the Marvel films. It'd be great to see him putting the moves on Captain America. I don't mean great in a sexual way, just, okay, maybe it's a little sexual. He's, he's handsome. Number 5. He can apparently turn people into negatives. Like, make them into negatives of a photo. Why? Beats me, it's pretty dumb. But you know what's even dumber? The way Thor fixes it. When he realizes that the people have been turned into negatives, he uh, spins his hammer to emit antimatter particles, then shoots them at the people, and they turn back. Now, I don't think it's even possible to suspend his belief enough to buy that. I just can't get over it. Blech. Number 4. Loki was originally a ginger. That's right, as if we thought Loki couldn't get any more soulless and evil, he was originally drawn with red hair. While this was changed later, and I may be reading too much into it, it does seem like an interesting choice. Now, there aren't a lot of red-headed comic book characters, especially males, and especially villains, so it's kind of weird. But it's actually quite fitting, considering the actor playing him, Tom Hiddleston, is also a natural redhead. And to all the gingers out there, I'm just joking, you're beautiful, please don't steal my soul. Number 3. Loki used Mjolnir against Thor. During Axis, a number of members of the Avengers were inverted and started to go bad. At one point in the chaos, Loki was facing off against Thor and managed to get his hands on Mjolnir and use it against the God of Thunder. With new reasons for wielding it against a rampaging Thor, Loki was deemed worthy of it and was able to defeat Thor, nearly killing him until others intervened. The Axis comics had a pretty hectic and confusing storyline, but my goodness were the fights cool. Plus we got to see Carnage leave a note from the friendly neighborhood Carnage, which which was just great. Number two, Loki can't stay dead. And I'm not just talking about how comic book characters always come back. When Thor went out searching for Loki following his death at the hands of the Void, he found that Loki had returned as a young boy. Turns out that Loki had given Hela, the Asgardian goddess of death, a portion of his domain in exchange for her removing his name from the Book of Hell. This means that he wouldn't have to worry about dying permanently, always being reincarnated upon his death, which is a pretty sweet deal. Number 1. He likes to sing Wicked in the shower. So we have that much in common. In one particularly musical shower scene in Loki Agent of Asgard number 1, we saw Loki singing along to his own version of the Wicked. 
Wizard and I from Wicked, changing out some of the words to fit his story, like changing Oz to Asgard and, and all of Asgard will love you when as a wizard you're acclaimed. Probably not something that many comic readers recognize, but as a musical theater lover, I am completely on board with it. Did someone say Avengers the Musical? <laughs> That's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Nerd to see more nerdy videos. Let me know your favorite Loki moment from comics or films in the comments down below, and feel free to check out my personal YouTube channel as well. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie LaFergie with Top 10 Nerd. Later, nerds.